It seems that we are now moving at the speed of technology. We are blazing new trails and paving the way for everybody with their 3D printer needs. And I'm going to try to do this in one take, but I have a bad habit of tripping over my words, so bear with me. So, good news, bad news. The good news, oh boy, the good news after three-ish, I don't even know, three days? Well, I would say, yeah, two straight days and a half a day and then probably a week even before that, of just fiddling and fighting and ordering different single board computers and blah, 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 blah. I finally got something other than Clipper to come up on the MKS Pi. If you follow my video for loading the software onto the Libre Renegade, this is not much different. The only difference is that you have to install the MKS Pi Armbian version available on their GitHub. You install that, and then step-by-step step is pretty much the same. Go into the, uh, the Clipper script, run the Octoprint install, take out Clipper screen, leave everything else in, but take out Clipper screen, do the, the auto login and disable the password, and this thing just comes up. It comes up. It comes up and it works. Bad news. Well, two things that are bad news. One bad news is that this is a lot cheaper than Renegade. The entire shit and shebangy here with the come fast and the heat sink and the EMMC chip is around 45 bucks. Let's call it that. The Renegade by itself is 50 The... 8 gigabyte SD card, like I said yesterday or in my video, is six bucks. The USB Wi Fi, if you can get one of these on AliExpress, they're only like three dollars, but you got to wait, you know, six years to get one. You can get the same chipset through different vendors for ten dollars, whatever. I've got one on order so I could test it, but. So that's bad news number one. It, it's a little bit more expensive. You got to do a little bit more legwork. This you could just buy as a package. It comes in. Do not, do not, do not. I, I, I won't even get into that yet. But you could buy it as a package. And it works. It, it, it works. Follow my, my video. And it works. Painful to get it to that point. But now I could do it with my eyes closed. But if you want something that's quickly available, because you don't have to wait weeks and weeks and weeks for one of these through AliExpress and then cross your fingers and hope that they're going to give you one or send you one, get the stuff through Amazon and it, maybe it's 20 bucks more. Downside number two is that this screen is garbage. Garbage! I had this thing connected to a 21 and a half inch capacitive touchscreen. The thing ran like a champ. This screen is ass okay i'm not even gonna mince words this thing is ass i'll show you i go to if i want to go to settings here go to settings go to settings go to settings go to settings oh wait it just hit control go to settings go to settings hold it flat oh there it is there's settings close out settings nope 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 they've been using a little piece of filament to try and hit him. And even then, I'm pinpointing on the cancel. Oh, look at that. It jumped again. I want to move x-axis. That one moves. That one doesn't move. That one moves. Eh, that one moves. Doesn't move. Doesn't move. Now they're not moving at all. Oh, there it goes. Not moving x-negative. Well, there, there's a couple. Try to hit it with your finger. Barely works. Garbage. Oh, look at that. There's the setup screen. Crap. Do not get this. I, I bought this with my own money. I could tell you the way it is. Sucks. The pie itself is good. I'm actually going to send the Renegade back because I don't need it. I'm going to keep this, and if I need to get more of them, I'll just order them for $40, whatever. But again, Renegade was good. Renegade will run off of a phone charger or a 5-volt supply. This requires 12 or 24-volt. I have 
this that I'm running it on, and I bought well, I bought this because it came with one of these. So, I mean, ultimately, it's kind of the same price because this was thirteen dollars or whatever. But yeah, good renegade, good uh, Lee potato, not so good. I couldn't get I couldn't get any kind of official Armbian software to load on Lee potato. So Lee potato's going back. Renegade's going back begrudgedly because it was a good board. It's got more RAM than the MKS Pi, but the MKS Pi is... Ed but there, there it goes. I am not editing this, but the MKS Pi seems a hair more responsive. So I'm not sure. Uh, that's pretty much it. Wanted to let you guys know, MKS Pi will load Octodash, will run Octoprint, it's a viable option, but beware, the TS-35 is butthole. Thanks for watching.